Hi everyone, I'm Parker Glenady, the coordinator and instructor for Math B41 Multivariable Calculus. I want to compare this course with single variable calculus and say what I expect of you as a student in this course. So firstly, let's compare with single variable calculus. In single variable calculus, we study curves in the plane, like y equals x squared. Right? We study these curves by looking at their tangency properties. Right? So here, the red pen is representing a tangent line at the origin to y equals x squared. As we move, we see that the slope of the red pen changes. Here it's very large, slightly smaller, now it's zero, then it becomes negative, and even more negative. So by looking at the derivative and looking at tangent lines, we can study properties of curves in the plane. In this course, Math B41, we study curves and surfaces in space. So let's draw a sphere. Okay, the equation for this sphere can be written down as x squared plus y squared plus z squared is 1. And now what can we learn about tangents of this sphere? So in the plane, here's our physical model of the sphere. Because the sphere is two-dimensional, it has tangent planes. So this red folder represents a tangent plane to the sphere at various different points. So we're going to develop the techniques for studying properties of tangency and derivatives in space and in other dimensions. Now, I want to say a couple words about what I expect from you as a student in this course. I want you to think of this course sort of like an egg. We're going to start off with the three hours of lecture and we're going to add on one hour of tutorial per week. This is the core or the nucleus of the course. But in addition to that, I want you to spend about six hours on the course every single week. So in addition to the four hours of mandatory time, I've calculated out that it will take about six hours to complete the homework and recommended problems. So each week, if you do the recommended problems, attempt the homework, and watch the videos posted on the blog, I expect this course should take about 10 hours per week. Now, I'll take you through the syllabus in person. See you soon.